My name is Brian Haig. I am with the Turtle Survival Alliance, the North American Freshwater Turtle Research Group. Uh, I'm also a professor at Peninsula College and part-time uh, faculty at Western Washington University. I'm down here uh, conducting a long-term turtle population study. This is uh, our fourth year here at Wikiwachi Springs. What we're trying to do is document what species are found at each place, uh, how many of uh, individuals in each uh, population are there, how long they live, how fast they grow, a um, little bit of everything that we can about these animals. Well, the first step is you need to catch the turtles, and we do that uh, at this park uh, solely by snorkeling and chasing them down, catching them, bringing them in. We have a, a person uh, on the shore with a number of large bins. We're putting the turtles in those bins to hold them temporarily uh, until they're ready to be processed. Some of these turtles are, are little turtles. They, you know, the little musk turtles only get you know four inches long or so. Some of them are quite large. Uh, if we get lucky, maybe we'll catch a snapping turtle. We could get a 30 or 40 pound snapper in here. Uh, there's soft shells turtles in here. They could also get to 30 or 40 pounds if you get a really big one. Those are very difficult to catch because they're so fast and, and they're very aggressive. So once you catch one, you really have to, have to be careful with it. But what we're doing is we're collecting as many turtles as we can. And then what we do is we bring them uh, up here. We have a, a picnic table set up with all of our gear on it. We're going to process the turtles. And what processing entails is we're going to measure the turtle. We measure the length of the carapace or top shell. We measure the width of that carapace. We flip the turtle over, we measure the length of the uh, plastron, which is the lower shell, and we measure the height of the turtle from top to bottom, the shell height. We'll also get a weight on it. We will determine the, the gender, the sex of the, of the turtle. Um, uh, we we, we um, mark down any comments, like uh, we caught a turtle yesterday that was missing one of its feet. So we, we'll, we'll make those comments as well. And those, could, those comments can help us to identify that turtle when we catch it again. Every turtle will get two marks. Uh, if it's a hard shell turtle, like uh, one of the cooter species or the, or the musk turtles, we will make little notches using um, a hacksaw blade in its shell to correspond to a particular number. We have a numbering system where the skews or scales along the edge of this shell, they're called marginal skews. Um, uh, soft shell turtles, you can't mark the edge of the shell because it's, uh, it's soft and it would just grow back. So those, those uh, animals get a tattoo. Uh, just, just behind each hind foot on the underside of that soft shell, we put a tattoo corresponding to the animal's number. Um, and then every animal, as long as it's bigger than 70 millimeters, which is a, a pretty small animal, if it's bigger than 70 millimeters, it also gets a microchip. And it's the same microchip uh, that, you, that you'll have put in your dog or your cat by the veterinarian. The Turtle Survival Alliance works only with freshwater turtles and tortoises. And, and we're working with most of the 25 most endangered species of freshwater turtles and tortoises. We have a turtle survival center uh, in South Carolina where we actually um, house and raise some of these uh, endangered species. And we have places all around the world, places in India, in Madagascar, uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, where we're working with um, some turtles in some places where they're, they're really in trouble. Knowing what a, a healthy population in a protected place is like uh, gives us sort of a baseline when it comes to uh, protecting these other species. You can do it. And Jordan's going to walk right next to you. I really can't. So. No, no, no. Seriously. Come on, try it. Come here. Come here. I'm going to go straight next to you. I'm going to go straight right there. You're fine. They I can feel really, one. Yeah, they can't really get you there. So. Like, just grab it right there. See that soft, like a, <laughs> that soft spot right there? Yeah. Just grab it right, right there. Yeah. And just grab. Okay. And just keep your thumb in. Okay. Like thumb that. in. Yeah. Same thing. A little bit. A little bit further back. And then pick it up. Yep.
learned a lot. Uh, we learned how to tell the difference between male and female turtles. And it's cool because, you know, we swim with these animals every day in our spring, so it was very educational to be able to work with them and work with these scientists and researchers. Yeah, it was really cool. It was a cool experience, great opportunity, because um, we swim with them like every day, like you said. And we don't really know that much about them, but so it was really cool. And we learned a lot, and your tattooing skills are awesome, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs>